Hello, friends. Hello, welcome to the 80s. Yeah, we're mm -hmm. going to go look at the, um, we're going to go back in time to, to long before we were born to the 1980s. A lot of people think the 80s suck, but I do not think so. I think some of the coolest stuff happened in the 80s. Yeah, believe it or not, I actually was born in the 80s. I mean, a lot of people don't believe that, but um, I was actually alive in the reason. 80s. And um, <laughs> You're born in the 80s. that was fun, the 80s. Yeah, the 80s were fun. The, the 80s were probably the most um, intense part of my life. Mm -hmm. It was, uh, I, used to play in, I used to play in bands, and that pretty much the 80s for me was all about music and, and uh, playing in bands and, and uh, trying to become international pop star. But uh, so after that pop star career was over, you became a podcaster. Yeah. <laughs> International superstar as a podcaster now. That's right. Yeah. That's that's how we get our audience. Um, <laughs> but we're so going to go ahead. <laughs> oh, we're going to take a look at with this new uh, segment that we're calling 80s World, which <laughs> took us like hours to think of that we name. A lot of time wordsmithing that. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys appreciate that, the 80s world. Anyway, um, we're going to take a look at stuff from the 80s because the 80s, I mean, it gets derided and rightfully so in some ways, in, in most cases. In fact, I <laughs> it's hard to think of really good movies that were made in the 80s when you yes. compare it to just before it, the 70s. Just about every one of my favorite movies came from the 70s. Oh, the 70s were amazing. And the 90s kind of kicked back in, you know, with some power, powerful movies. And then movies have gotten, yeah, there's, I would say there's good movies. But the 80s, mm -hmm. there was some kind of a little, th something that went on there. I don't know what it was. Yep. Maybe it was cocaine. I don't know what it was. <laughs> but drugs. something happened in the 80s that, that things just had a certain quality to them. Now you look back on it, and it's very nostalgic in some ways and mm -hmm. kind of fun and cheesy. But at the yeah. time, I remember thinking, God, these movies are terrible. I just can't like anything. I know. There were some good ones, though. There were some good ones. And also, now that we we started really exploring more Indian cinema... Yeah, that'd be really fun to go back into some 80s Indian films also. We're going to try. Yes. The whole point of this is like we're going to look at 80s movies from all kinds of different countries. But I wanted to make the kickoff especially to be Indian because we we're starting to really uh, do a deep dive into Indian uh, movies. So this yeah. seems like a good one to start with because we've heard that this is a, you know, a really one of the, the great cop dramas of the 80s. Um, and so I want to definitely check it out. It's called Ard Satya. And yeah. That it's it's a cop drama. It was directed by Jovind Nahalani. Nahalani. Um, it was uh, written from a, a screenplay by VJ Tendulkar, uh, and so it's 1983. 1983, and, uh, yeah. yeah. And so this one gets a lot of acclaim. As we were trying to do some research on which movies we should take a look at, and again, we're only doing the trailer right now, but eventually we want the 80 our 80s uh, movies from around the world. <laughs> <laughs> to be also movie reviews. We're we're gonna do a little bit of everything. That's why we call it eighties world, because world. we're gonna look at eighties all around the world. That's right. That therein lies the cleverness of that title. That is why see it's it's much better than it sounded at first, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> so, so I'm very anxious to see what this looks like. Um and compare, you know, to others of its genre and uh, we'll see how it looks. You ready? Yeah. All right. Ready to go? Ready to go. And action. Cool graphics so far. So दोनों <laughs> Anand! 
Dr. Mike Lobo, at present under suspension for being under the influence of alcohol while on duty. हल्के उपाओं से किसी ने गुनाह कबूल किया है कभी मार मार कर लोहे की सलाख तक टेढ़ी हो जाती है और चू तक नहीं करते ये लोग मुश्किल है सिर्फ भगवान नहीं तो सीएम ही बचा सकता है तुमको आप अच्छी तरह जानते हैं ये दुनिया किस चाल से चलती है फिर आप होते कौन ये पूछने वाले कि क्यों इस तरह से चलती निश्चित है मेरा पति पुलिस वाला नहीं होगा की नौकरी करके रोटी खाता हूं जिस इंस्टीट्यूशन के दुश्मनों से मैंने जूझना चाहा, वही इंस्टीट्यूशन मेरी मर्दान की कुचलने पर तुला हुआ है God, I love that music. I know. I was about to say wow. the music is so stripped down and, and intense. It really fit the images. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. And cool. it just, it looks really gritty and mm -hmm. like one of those movies, like you really feel like you're watching something that actually happened and the cameras yeah. just happen to be rolling. Yeah. That looks, that looks pretty, pretty cool. That looks pretty fun. There's a lot of hair yeah. pulling. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of torture. Ah! The woman is clearly the buzzkill. <laughs> <So. laughs> well, you um, know what? I, there's no subtitles and I can't really tell what's going on, but there's a, a guy that's kind of berating him for being mm -hmm. on, you know, he's, he was on suspension for being under the influence yeah. of alcohol. He's tortured detective, obviously, or a tortured cop for sure. So when I always, when I watch these things, having grown up in America, I will sometimes mm -hmm. reference American films yeah. to compare. And to me, I kind of got a Serpico vibe from yes, this. Yes, definitely. Like there's a cop in there who is troubled by corruption maybe and troubled by something that's going on and he is like an honest guy fighting against this corrupt system or something that's what the impression i got i could mm -hmm. be totally wrong and uh i have a feeling maybe he's got you know his his wife or this woman maybe his sister something i don't know telling him you got to get out of there you're in danger or they're coming after yeah, you definitely. you know and he's and he maybe was saying at that one part where he's given his monologue, he's like, no, I'm not going to, you know, this institution. And then I couldn't understand what he was saying, but I have a feeling he was like, this represents something. This is what yep. I believe in and I'm going to stick with it. And so, you know, hopefully he succeeds if, if yeah, I'm I mean, anywhere close to being right. <laughs> well, it also, you know, and I, I want to watch the film, too, just, yeah. just to see, but it has that classic um cop goes into it with his idealism you yeah. know he wants to make things better he wants to be a good cop and then through the job through the man you know the the chief of police through the corruption he's eventually become disillusioned and to deal with all his you know i mean i'm all you know just going from the the cop formula of films yeah. where he becomes super damaged because he's seeing so much bad stuff and corruption and he he feels like you know he, the only way to handle it is to drink a lot and to abuse people um right. to get what he needs uh and i you know it it seems like the boss is sort of okay, but he at some point it seems like he's you know I love how they have the board the statistics behind him Crime which I'm statistics sure matters board. a lot. Yeah, um, I love that that framing of him trying to you know stand up for himself in front of a crime statistics which probably isn't good. Right. <laughs> so, but this looked really I I love the grittiness of it. I love the down in the gutter feel to it. Um, and I love the graphics yeah. on this trailer. I love the music yeah. in this trailer. It it actually looks it was the classic '80s cop drama looking at it. this. Yeah. looks really really fun. Yeah, it looks like a, it looks like the kind of movie that I, that is you, you're one of those intense things that you're gonna you're you know 
a little sweaty watching it, you know, (laughs) sweaty hands. I know. So I have a couple posters. Um, Some of these might be like, you know, re-release posters. Some might be fan posters, but I want to start with this one because the graphics in the trailer were so good. Like, just love that. It reminds me of a graphic novel. To to me, that looks like Mm -hmm. the cover of a graphic novel by Frank Miller, like, you know, The Dark Knight or something or Sin City. It's got like a real super graphic depiction of this guy that i just love that i love the fact that it's just one color is you know yellow and black and apparently this film is based on a short story by it's called syria by sd pan uh i know i mangled that name um but uh so it does have a it definitely has that sort of you know novelist literate sort of um feeling to it source material yeah yeah and then we have this super cool kind of hard-boiled detective-ish sort of looking stuff with the photos of the buzzkill yeah. with of these other criminals. That one's a little busy for me. I like that yeah. first one so much. I'd I put like that first, first poster on my wall, you know? <laughs> yeah, I don't quite understand what all this material is around. Like evidence photos or... Yeah, I don't, but I mean, the evidence, yeah, I'm not sure all that is. And then it looks like satin sheets or something. Yeah. going on. And then we have like... This is kind of a cool one. It looks like kind of a retro noir kind of movie, but that's pretty yeah. great looking. And there is a lot of hair pulling like that. So it is accurate. Yeah. Um, and I like the, the the type design is great. Yeah. So there you go. Our first uh, trailer reaction from the 80s. Yeah. And we'll do it's reviews the... too, but we're starting with some trailer reactions just to get the ball rolling. Yeah. Where's our 80s thing? There it is. <laughs> See? See? It's 80s. 80s, 80s well. trailer reaction. <laughs> So join us next time, and if you have any '80s movies, you know, especially foreign films, we're looking for films from all over. Um, just suggest some because we'd yeah. love to, we'd love to see them. We'd love to react to the trailers and do the reviews. So be sure and give us suggestions on that. And if this works out, if people like it, we might go into we might go into like the '70s. <laughs> '70s would be awesome. <laughs> I love it. All right, see you guys later. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.